When I say bananas, you say peppers. And I'm finally back. I'm finally back on this channel and I'm so glad. I'm so glad to be here. Uh, today we are gonna be doing a handbag unboxing. I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've done a video like that, but this bag, you guys, is so special to my heart that I wanted to like make a whole moment for it. I wanted to come and hang out with you guys and unbox it and Hopefully you guys who are trying to like keep the spirit of Halloween alive in your hearts. This is like a little throwback to Halloween, a little throwback to Vlogoween. This is a designer bag and you guys, I thought that this was actually not launching until next year. I think somehow, I'll go ahead and tell you guys the brand. It's Moschino and I love Moschino. It's like Jeremy Scott. Moschino. I love Moschino bags. They're always so freaking weird, like in the shapes of things, which that just sounds so vague. But like this year they have a freaking washing machine. Looks like a washing machine. If you guys remember, I did an unboxing on my main channel. It's actually like a haul slash unboxing on my main channel last year, like H&M. Um, did a special like Moschino launch and they came out with the handbag that looks like a combination lock. There is one that is constantly on my radar that I didn't even know existed until after it existed and then sold out. It looks like a hair dryer. So like it's just definitely a totally out there imaginative brand and I love that. Like, I don't really spring for designer pieces unless it's something that is just so unique and so amazing that I know that I couldn't find it at the thrift store, for instance. A couple of months ago, I think a bunch of you guys were actually tweeting to me about this collection because, oh, oh my God, it looks so amazing. Um, It is a Halloween, like a designer Halloween capsule collection and there's like some pros and cons about this like I am so happy that this collection exists but I'm also so sad because I feel like the pieces that they actually released for sale versus everything that they were kind of showing in like campaign photos or on the runway it's like they went from like 100 to 10, if that makes any sense. Like they actually launched very, very few pieces. Like the thing that stuck out that I loved so much, it's almost like a beanie kind of hat. I don't know how we would call it, but it's like a, <laughs> it looks like a Tweedledee Tweedledum hat, um, but it has like these big bat wings on either side. They didn't actually launch that. There was um, a motorcycle jacket that looked like Frankenstein stitches. They didn't actually launch that. Platform shoes that look like x-ray skeleton bone, like thigh high skeleton x-ray shoes. They didn't launch that um, so much that they didn't actually launch that I'm like, I'm so, I'm so sad about that. Um, also, I thought that this collection was not actually coming out until spring 2020. I think that this is considered like part of the 2020 collection. I'm just not classy enough to truly understand like when whatever season of designer stuff comes out. I will say though, the, the one odd choice, like I'm glad that they launched it now because I don't have to wait anymore, but also it's like they launched it slightly too late for you to be able to get your pieces by Halloween, which also just like, what, yeah, why? Like, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me. So I didn't actually get this bag until like November 5th or something. Anyway, am I just like ranting and raving about this? I don't know. Uh, those of you guys who were really invested in fashion and stuff, y'all might find this interesting. And then other people are just like, are you just complaining? I don't know. The one thing that I was super happy about is there was one handbag. There was one handbag that I saw um, like in the runway photos that I was just so very much hoping that they were actually going to make. And that is the one item that we have to look at today. I'm gonna go ahead and just freaking open the box. I'm gonna take it out. Actually, I'm just gonna open the box. I'm gonna open the box and then you guys can see it. I didn't wanna show the outside of the box because it has my address on it. So inside we have a little thank you card. So cute. Um, let me see if there's anything like worth showing on the inside. 
Nope. This is our little buddy in here. Oh my God. All wrapped up, you guys. Okay, so, oh, oh my God. All right, I'm just ripping the paper like a wolverine. The temperature thing on this camera has been going crazy all night. So there's like a little sticker that says Moschino on it. And oh, here he is. So adorable. Oh my God, one of my pieces of hair already fell out on it. Oh my God, you guys, I just filmed a does this thing really work over a hair thing? And I'm concerned for my hair. Here he is, oh my God. God. So they offered him in two different colorways. One, I don't entirely understand. It was like a rose gold metallic, which rose gold is kind of like a dead fad in my mind. I, if you still love rose gold, I'm so sorry, but I don't know. It's just, it had its moments. I was never really into that moment and now, oh. And then orange, traditional orange and black. Um, so let me go ahead and take, oh, this is coming off really easy. Let me go ahead and unwrap this and we'll give the camera a quick breather. So here he is, our sweet pumpkin baby. And this is actually like capturing the magic of Halloween. It is a truly like plastic pumpkin pale effect. To me, it's kind of like halfway in between like, uh, you know, like ha what I give out for Halloween, like the, the pumpkin pails and then the boo buckets. Do you guys remember boo buckets from McDonald's? I feel like I reference those all the time and it's not like I eat McDonald's a lot, but if they brought back boo buckets, I would be there to get them. So it actually has like a nice like buckled strap on it to make it like a, a real purse. And the closure on the top is actually magnetic. So you open it up and ooh, it's like felt lined on the inside. Maybe you guys can see the Moschino label all the way back in there. And then um, it looks like we have a dust bag in here. So if you would ever wanna put it up, you could protect it in a dust bag. And I think there's also like a little certificate in here. Um, oh my God, it has like almost like the smell of new carpet on the inside or something. It smells wonderful. So I would love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions on this. Like, is this like kinda too, silly for some of you guys. Oh my God, it's just, it's so like, I feel like, ah, I'm like smiling so much. It's so just magical and whimsical. And I, I'm actually shocked. Like I did not think I would ever be able to carry it on my shoulder, like a shoulder bag, but the strap is actually long enough. It's comfortable enough. Or, you know, you can carry it like that, which I'm not gonna lie. I probably carry my purses more often like in the crook of my arm than on my actual shoulder. But I don't, This it's kind of like a PSA. I'm just letting you guys know it's out there because I feel like truly Halloween obsessed, crazy people like me. I know that you guys exist out there as well. Um, I feel like bags like this just fly. Like I cannot tell you guys, there's this other brand that I love. They're independent artists, I believe, but they're called Love, Pain and Stitches. And they make the most amazing like jack-o'-lantern Halloween bags, but they sell out so fast. Like I cannot even tell you guys, I've been trying for years to buy one of those bags. And like every time they have like a limited release, it is so impossible to get. And, um, I didn't know that this actually went up for sale until like four days after it became available. And I was so nervous that when I clicked, you guys know how Instagram does that where now you can actually like click through on a picture to shop the item or visit the store or whatever. I just knew that when I went there, it was gonna be sold out. And I was like, oh, um, but it actually wasn't. I don't know, it, is it sold out now? I don't know. If there's a link in the, uh, info box. I almost had a link in the bio. My God, what platform am I on? If I link it, it's still available. And actually, you know what? I'm just going to link you guys to the collection anyway, so y'all can see the pieces that are available. Don't get me wrong. They have some other cute stuff. They have like um, a backpack that looks like a ghost. They have a couple of the ghost bags that they made, but there was like a ghost dress. They didn't make that. 
and I could just go on and on of the things that they should have made and they didn't actually make because I feel like they would sell like even if they did a super limited run of them and didn't just make like I don't know how many this brand makes I'm not even gonna pretend like I do uh, but I feel like definitely they could have sold those pieces if they would have made them I cannot be the only person that would wear this stuff anyway I am excited to hear what you guys think about this I know some people see things like this and they just think it's like way too juvenile and goofy to wear but then I know that there are other people that love this like fantastical whimsy like I do so I don't know I just want to like share this moment with you guys pop in say hello and see how you guys are doing I feel like more videos on this channel to come I have so many videos that I want to film that I feel like I could just film 12 videos a day right now so many products I want to test so many tea vlogs I want to make so I'm sure it will not be too long this time until you guys see me again. And I actually filmed um, one other like beauty box unboxing type video that I think I'm probably gonna go ahead and just upload and put on this channel because I filmed it. I think I've gotten over that whole thing, you guys, of like, I film all these videos and then I never upload them. I think I finally got over all of that. So I filmed it and it's a good freaking video. So sooner or later, you guys are going to see it. I hope that y'all are doing well. And until I see y'all again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so much. Thank y'all for being here and for hanging out with me and being so patient until I put out the next piece of content. So thank you guys. I love y'all so much and I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye.